Hi, neighbors. Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Neighbors. It is I, Jerry Ellen. And first, let me start by saying thank you so much for being here today. I am so honored to have you in my kitchen. I'm very thankful. So today, we are going to be making wonton soup. Yes, indeedly doodly. We need some light. Okay, this is very easy and very quick. Just a little bit of prep, getting things ready, and you're good to go. In a bowl, I have uh, almost a half a pound, about a half a pound of ground pork, okay? Uh, this is almost half a pound of shrimp, deveined and the shell taken off, all cleaned up, no shell, no anything, okay? We're gonna mince up this uh, shrimp. Anywho, we're gonna chop this up until it becomes very minced up. Okay, so that is minced up. I'm going to add it to the pork. I'm adding a tablespoon of light soy sauce, two teaspoons of Chinese cooking wine, or you can use rice wine vinegar, two teaspoons of sesame oil, a little bit of salt. Use my microplane and give about a tablespoon of grated ginger. Almost a, th a thumb sized piece of ginger. And about four to five tablespoons of uh, green onion. I use scissors to chop it up kind of small. And I'm going to mix that up. Put just a few teaspoons of cornstarch in here as well to give it that texture that we want in our dumplings. A tablespoon of cornstarch. Okay, now I have some wonton wrappers that I have a damp paper towel on them so they don't dry out on me as I use them. Uh, you're, so, a wonton wrapper and a teaspoon. So, I'm not going to do anything fancy with uh, how to fold this, just something nice and easy and quick. Put like a teaspoon of your filling, wet your hands so you can wet your wonton wrappers, and just bring them up and crunch them together. And then I just pinch it. Just like that, it's fine. Yeah. Just make little pouches. Doesn't have to, you don't have to go crazy trying to do something. There's different methods, doesn't matter. Just as long as you seal it up in there. Whatever you want. That guy is weird. Not going to be artsy wontons, but they're going to be tasty. Yes. And then you can fold them like triangle, if you like, seal them. And then you can crisscross the front. And you have that, if you like. Okay, neighbors, you are going to probably get about 40, 35 to 45 uh, wontons, maybe even more, depending on how much you're putting in. Your wonton wraps. I have a bit, I, I don't, I didn't finish all mine. I've got enough here going. Do the broth now. So, for the broth, I am going to use three slices of ginger. If you're, if you're using the fatter part of the ginger, you can just uh, go ahead and use two slices, but my ginger wasn't that, uh, my ginger was kind of skinny. So, three I'm putting in. This is, and then here I have uh, three cloves of garlic. I'm gonna give them a little squish. I'm gonna fish these out after. A Four cups of chicken broth, two tablespoons of light soy sauce, 
a teaspoon, you can do, do more if you want, a teaspoon of sesame oil, two tablespoons of Chinese cooking wine, half a tablespoon of sugar, and I'm going to put this on the stove. Get that going. Okay, I brought that up to a boil. And what I'm going to do is turn it down to a simmer for about five minutes just so that all the ginger and garlic and everything infuse the uh, broth. And uh, I have eight cups, not, uh, not four cups of broth. Okay, so now after a few minutes, I am ready. I, I turned it back up and I'm gonna add my wontons. Now, before putting these in, it's easier to fish out your garlic and that, but I'm just gonna do that as I'm picking up bowls of soup. I'll make sure that that doesn't go in. I just still want it to continue adding flavor, so I didn't want to fish them out until absolutely necessary. Okay, they've been uh, boiling away here on over a medium flame, and you give them five to seven minutes just until they're tender. And I have here uh, some baby bok choy. I took uh, two, two heads of baby bok choy and I broke uh, them apart, like cut, cut them apart like this. And I washed them up and now I'm gonna add, give them just a couple of minutes in there. You could have cooked these separate uh, not in the broth if you want to have them separate you can and then add them to your bowl of soup but I'm gonna cook them in there in the broth okay we lost our power so we're like kind of in the kind of uh, not having the best lighting right now however let's do this I'll use this here for the put some green onion. Okay. One second. Or, hi, I'm just plating, I'm just getting a bowl picked up. Oh, getting a bowl of wonton soup picked up here. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't, so cooking up some ramen noodles with this would be really nice, actually. But look at that. Let's taste. Just want to open one up there. Show you the inside. Now it's going to be hot and I'm going to burn my mouth, but here we go. Hot. Hot, but so good. And it only takes a few minutes to uh, cook up the shrimp and the pork because it's just little bits, uh, little tiny balls in each one, so it doesn't take long. Mmm. Give it a try. I think you'll like it. If you like wonton soup, this better than takeout. Peace, love, God bless everyone. Hope you come back for another cooking video. Take care. Be blessed. Thanks, baby. Glad you like it.